Assalamu alaikum. Dear students of class 3, how are you all? Hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Alhamdulillah, I am also fine by the kindness of Allah the Exalted. Welcome to NIVS Home School. This is Wahid Noor, Assistant Teacher of Islamic Studies, National Ideal English Version School, Deshit. Today I am going to take the class of Islamic Studies for class 3. And today our topic is SQ, SQ means short question 1 and 2 from chapter 3, lecture number 2, HW number 2. My beloved students, already half portion from the chapter 3 which are related to the annual term according to the short syllabus, we have finished the discussion in the previous YouTube class. And today we will do two short question answer only from the chapter 3. But only these two questions are related to the annual term short syllabus. Rest of all short question answer we have done in the half yearly exam. Keep attention students. And also fill in the blanks and matching what, are, uh, what, is, uh, what you are getting in the exercise chapter 3. Already we have done that in the half yearly exam. So from the short question we will do only two short question answer that is uh, in your book F and G but I written here number 1 and 2 ok so what is the short question number 1 what does Allah do if we show mercy to the living being I hope you understood the question what does Allah do if we show mercy to the living beings answer Allah is kind he shows mercy to the living beings he has told human beings, he means Almighty Allah, he has told human beings to show mercy to all creatures. Creatures means the all living beings. Allah become pleased if we show mercy to the living beings. So this is the question number one, short answer. My beloved students, already we have discussed about the showing mercy to the living beings. And there is also incident I told you in the live class, also YouTube class. So if we show mercy to the living beings, any kinds of living beings, any kinds of creatures of Almighty Allah, then Allah will be pleased with us. And also the, uh, also the rest of all human beings will love them. And this is the orders of Almighty Allah for showing to the mercy of all creatures. So it was the short question number one. Now short question number two. Question number two, what is the harm of telling lies? Answer, to tell a lie is a great sin. It destroys, it means the telling lie. It destroys all human values. All human values means all human respect, human honor, human, uh, 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 human uh, I mean, uh, dignity, etc. Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said truthfulness saves a man lies destroy a man my beloved student this is very important in our life many of the people they are very habituate very uh, uh, i mean very uh, practiced very common they are talking with the phone and telling lie again and again for example they are living at home but they are telling i am just near of the rampura bridge or i am just uh, on the way but he, till now he is living in at the house so those who will tell the lie they will destroy their themselves they will go to the hell and those who will follow the honesty those who will telling the truth almighty allah will help them and also after that day they will they will go to the jannah so from now you will uh, you will uh, promise from yourself in any situation you will never and ever will tell the lie always tell the truth okay my beloved students now see the it vacation hw this short question answer one and two from chapter three so you will do as the hw uh, in it vacation and also you will learn this Okay, that's all for today, my dear students. Keep practicing at home and be safe in the Eid vacation. 
to abide by your parents perform the five times prayer see you after eid vacation inshallah till then assalamu alaikum